Hello, Cinema Psychic. This is the DVD Psychic, your counterpart. Or to be more specific, um, retro psychokinetic telepath, occasional precognitive, mostly remote viewer. Okay, um, basically, whereas you're, um, I've decided to take up where you left off, um, I know most of the psychic community has actually kind of got bigger fish to fry right now. Um, one of my cohort mediums is currently working on trying to uh, make people aware that global warming is going on. And in my case, I'm trying, I try and be can't stress enough, using whatever psychic and scientific data I have, that global war, that not just global warming, but running out of our fossil fuels is a problem. And that we're going to have to colonize the asteroid belt soon um, because we're running out of metals, etc. Uh, if our society is to survive and Earth is allowed to heal. Anyway, that's a side note. Moving back on to movies. Uh, this week, I'm going to uh, delve back into the past. Um, just, uh, I'm going to delve back into the past using a little psychic uh, look back and uh, see what movies that probably were pretty good, um, again, the ones which I didn't get to see in theaters, are going to be, are probably really good, coming out on DVD shortly, and we'll give you some recommendations. Okay, coming back from, oh, frig, I've forgotten what week. Okay, but the movie is called, uh, the one movie I'm going to focus on for this episode is called Fracture. Um, it was, and will be, when it comes out on a DVD, a fairly good film for DVD, reasonably good for theaters, and not exactly one of Anthony Hopkins' best. In this one, Anthony Hopkins uh, will star on DVD and has starred in the movies. Uh, in this one, Anthony Hopkins starred as a um, man supposedly killing his wife, uh, a seriously manipulative son of a bitch who, uh, re who um, severely improves his legal capabilities closer towards the end of the film. However, of course, um, maybe I should spoil the ending uh, for those of you who are, uh, for those viewers who are waiting for it to come out on DVD. Um, the lawyer is going to win and the uh let's just say anthony hopkins is going to discover that like most criminals they can't beat the csis and they can't beat the government um do you want the technicals on how exactly they're going to find uh out how he's guilty and how they're going to retry him on murder not attempted murder now nah, maybe not i'll uh, i'm not going to spoil everything i mean i gotta leave something to the uninitiated uh let's see flashing back flashing back okay Taking a look at the horror genre, there's going to be another movie coming out um, sometime in the next few months called Hostel 2. Um, this is going to be yet the same old crap. Oh, before I forget, I must tell you how the continuation is going to move on from Hostel. Um, the man who, uh, oh fuck, I've forgotten his name. The man who loses his two fingers in Hostel, um, he's going to die shortly to close to the beginning of the film. Uh, one of the guys is going to find him, chop his head off, and later in the film they're going to find it um, in the... Um, in the office of the guy who runs the entire hostel. Yes, that's right, we're going to meet the head honcho behind the whole thing. And uh, the guy, the hero from the last story's head is going to be sewn up and is going to be stood on a pike much like uh, London Bridge is falling down. Fall God, sorry, get that stupid historical reference out of your head. Sorry, that's too far back. Okay, um, next in the genre, uh, there's going to be, uh, anyway, this film is going to continue on with much the same, uh, you know, um, but this time it's going to be three girls and there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff. The only difference is that one of the rich girls is going to escape and, um, let's just say is going to repeat Lorena Bobbitt, uh, um, let's just say that we're going to see another example of why Lorena Bobbitt should have had a multi-million dollar, uh, a multi-million dollar net worth behind her. Um, okay, moving on. Into comedy genre, um... Damn. What ha Oh, um, I've got to uh, I've got to tell you guys about a uh, a new movie coming out. Um, I should sh shift back to movie theaters in July of 2007. Which oh shit, this is gonna only be like in a few more days. I'm gonna be go um you know even though I already know how it's gonna end, I still want to see this one in theaters because um yeah, it's worth a rerun, you know. Um, the Simpsons movie is gonna be coming out. In this one, Homer is going to have uh royally screwed up his uh is gonna have done something royally fucked up, which is going to screw up all of Springfield, and he is going to have um let's just say he's gonna have to save the town from his own mistake. I think I remember seeing snippets of a giant duff beer robot something or other. And of course, you know me, even though um, unlike Cinema Psychic up here, who I'm responding to, um, I actually have to go to a movie uh, because I always want to verify that my psychic predictions are always coming true. So, besides, even though I know how it's going to end, it's worth the rerun. And I'm not going to tell you how it ends because um, 
even though Cinema Psychic probably will. Like I said, for viewers, I don't like to spoil the ending because I'd much rather that you go through it yourselves. And, uh, you know, I'd much rather you go, you go through it yourselves. And, uh, you know, the last... And let me give you guys a little bit of a background. Back when I was a kid, I always I already used to yell out how films were going to end. Um, I mean, like, oh, the bad guy's going to die, or, uh, or oh, he's going to get the girl via this, 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 you know, and it's going to be like, it's so... Hell, sometimes sometimes in these cases, um, this was before my psychic ability, even, uh, psychic ability even fully developed, I was able to see the endings just because of the fact that it was so obvious and I could jump the chain of logic about, like, 12 steps before most other people. And uh, needless to say, I got beat up and ridiculed and everything else for it, so I've just decided to shut up and let you guys uh, view the uh, end results of the uh, movies. So, that being said, my, uh, ta my hat tipped off to you to Cinema Psychic for uh, spoiling some of the other films. I don't mind, personally. Um, as for the others uh, who kind of want to just kind of have the endings to yourself, uh, not spoiled, fine. I'm shutting up. I'm shutting up.